Good morning, everyone. This is Damon Mason. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. Normally, I would go into my spill for my whatever project I was working on at that particular time. But I changed it up a little bit. So, again, I'm going to say good morning and welcome to Coach Mason's film, which could possibly be the last time. I address this this podcast, this podcast, this video video cast as Coach Mason Film. If you took the time to read my title, um, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I think I said I had a huge announcement to make. And I was I'm not gonna say very reluctant. I was reluctant on sharing this. And I don't want to babble too long. So first one, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take this music down to a notch. <clears throat> my background music. I like setting the atmosphere. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. There we go. And, and if you're seeing this live, if you're, if not, you of course, you're watching the recording. What you're seeing on the screen now is my website. DamonMason9.org and my company of DM9 LLC is the umbrella of, of my entire organization and I'm operating under the name Diamonds of the Extensions which is I guess you say my first endeavor and as of right now, my only endeavor. But the, 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 I'm trying to still say I'm going to make this announcement. But I want to talk about Diamonds of Extensions. Yeah. Diamonds of Extensions is an athletic, athletic, athletic management, marketing, development, and mentorship program. That's a fancy term for saying. I help student athletes in high school, young boys and young girls alike. The goal is to help them get into position for possible scholarship opportunities. Now that there, there, there are services that I provide, which provides me free of charge. These are things that I just share from my heart, things that I love to do, that I would do even if I wasn't getting paid for. It. But there are services that I offer which will will require a fee. If your son or daughter, if your child is working, if you like the services that I provided and the way that I provided, you know, that's the nature of the business. But when you think about exposure, Putting them in position for exposure for possible scholarship opportunities. There are many forms of exposure, which I will not get into that. But the bottom line is this. If college scouts do not know basically your son or your daughter's name, they don't know your child's name, nine times out of ten, they're not being recruited. Now, my services is not for everyone. I'm not looking for the kid who is super talented. I'm not looking for the kid who basically is quote unquote the best player on a team. My services could be utilized by that kid, but I'm looking for the kid who was like me, so to speak. That's the best way I can put it. And when I'm making a long, when I'm making a long, uh, a long story too long, the kind of player that I was. I wished and prayed for an opportunity. I needed guidance. I needed direction. I needed leadership. And when I got that, there were some things I had to learn on my own, like how to practice accountability. Or should I say implement accountability, responsibility, and self-discipline. And that's at school, 
Actually, I don't want to say that, but that was in in high school, in college, as well as a professional athlete. So with my platform, my goal is to take the things that I, I was taught, the things that I learned, and the things that I implemented as a high school student athlete, a collegiate student athlete, and as a young man, as a professional athlete, the things that made me and helped me to become the professional that I was. And as I share often on social media, and I share with people when I speak to them, playing professional sports does not make you a professional. It's just like working a job and being a boss or a manager or a supervisor or whatever doesn't make you a professional. It's how you handle your business or court move that makes you a professional. So in the mindset of a professional entity, my goal is to, to groom and raise future professional athletes. But why do I say professional? Because if a high school student athlete, a high school young boy or girl can take a grasp of anything that I'm trying to teach them from a professional mindset, a professional standpoint, I can, I can all but promise that it's gonna prepare them for whatever they're gonna face in high school as well as college. That's why my goal is to raise and groom teach and lead and guide future professional athletes because I think as adults we all know that becoming a professional athlete it's slim and I don't like speaking this way because when someone shared that with me I didn't want to hear it you cannot tell me that I was not going to be a professional but now I am that adult and I want to prepare young boys and young girls for what can and cannot be, or could possibly be. So when I say a professional, I'm preparing prepare you as a future professional, regardless if you play sports, or if you get a, a job as a respectful citizen in society. The goal is to teach you how to be a professional. And what you do with the teachings and the, lead, the, the guidance and the direction that I aim to give, that's up to you in the school, in your class, in your academics, in your respective sport, as well as whatever God has planned for you based on the choices that you make. And that's speaking of my own life. So I'm gonna change this to my about again this is my website and I'm not gonna go into this here. But again, Diamonds of the Extension represents Damon Mason. Of course, the DM9 brand. In society, you know, I'm sure we all have, have heard at some point in time, Diamonds in the Rough, Diamonds in the Rough. I was considered a Diamond in the Rough at every level. I'm gonna say it again, Diamond in the Rough. Every time you look, someone is a diamond in the rough. Oh, this person was overlooked, or this kid was overlooked, or oh, whether, and I can go on and on. I gave it my own definition of what a diamond in the rough means to me. And like I've done with everything in my life, I want to be different. I always want to be different. Humble enough to watch, listen, and learn to what other people are doing and take what they're doing that was successful and make it my own. And then use the talents and abilities that God gave me to make it my own. To help me reach the success that I wanted to reach. So that's why I created Diamonds of the Extension. And if you, if you care to, again, you can read about it in my on my website. So that leads me into my announcement. Forgive me for that, I was trying to do something. So, my announcement. I am proud to say that very soon, right now I am kind of, very soon, but right now I am currently working on becoming a sports agent. Yes, I'm excited about that, so I'm gonna say it again. I'm excited, got the background as a backup. 
I am excited to announce that DM9 Diamond of the Extension. Diamonds of the Extension. Not with the S, the Extension with the West. <laughs> that we are embarking on the journey of becoming a sports agent. Yes, I will be creating my own sporting agency. So let me explain, guys. The goal is to become first a marketing, sports marketing agent. Then I will become a sports contract agent. The significance with about that, guys, is this here. As a sporting agent, and it, it came full circle for me, because even what I'm doing with high school student athletes, trying to help them with exposure, and I've been doing this for 12 years now. Personally, I've gotten to the point where Basically, I became very, I'm very frustrated and tired of helping some high school student athlete, male or even female. And when they get to college, because this is a business, it's a company, it's an endeavor, you build a relationship with the kid, then the kids go to college, and unfortunately, you lose contact with that kid. They, that teenager is now, well, that, that, I call them young sirs and young ladies, but not they're not in college and they, they go away from home and you lose contact. And again, the relationship doesn't grow, it kind of dwindles. But the problem with that is, again, that we all as adults know that these kids are going to experience so much more drama and adversity in college that some of them not really prepared for. You know, I'm not a kid's parent. I'm not really easy, even some of these, uh, hardly any of these kids coach. And that's why I, my program, Diamond Road Extensions, the last thing you heard me say was a mentorship. As a mentor, my goal is really to build a relationship with the kids. It's not only help them get in position for scholarship opportunities in high, school, in high school, but to try to lead and guide them for life, regardless of what door of opportunity opens for them or not. So even with that being said, what I, what I, what I didn't say about Diamond Road Extension, my goal is to reach out to young kids, young boys and young girls, of course with their parents because of their age, uh, starting as early as the seventh grade. So by the time they become juniors and seniors, if I'm able to pour my heart into them, all of all my experiences, all of my knowledge and wisdom, well, that's where my, as I tell the kids, that's where my swag comes in. That's where my, my faith in my confidence is going to show itself. If you can take half of what, I'm, what I want to give to you, by the time you become a, a junior and senior in high school, oh yeah, I would be very surprised if someone was not interested in offering you an athletic scholarship. Because what I want to do for kids was not done for me. Yes, I had a lot of adults, a lot of coaches who, <clears throat> excuse me, who spoke into my life. But to take what my parents gave me, what my coaches gave me, what my teachers gave me, and to use that at every stage of my development, to use that at every level from high school to college to a professional, many kids don't do that. And then, be, and then being able to teach. See, it's one thing to be a coach, but can you teach? It's one thing to be a teacher, but can you properly teach? I'm trying to say I'm good at it. <laughs> I'm good at it. So even with that being said, so that's where the mentorship come in. So now when you go through my program from the seventh through the twelfth grade, guess what? You graduate. You know, you you, you, you elevate in life and society. Diamonds of the extension and DM nine is going to elevate with you. The same relationship we built. We built. Regardless, if we start in the seventh grade or whatever to your senior year, we're going to continue to build on that relationship in college. 
because I had my own adversities and setbacks and roadblocks that I had to overcome before I became a professional athlete. So again, we get a chance to grow and learn from each other. And I get a chance to teach and pour into you. And so what I mean by full circle, so just prayerfully asking God to place me in the position where I'm supposed to be, help me to make the right decisions. And there's so many other, other different things I can share, but it all came to a circle when I had peace in my heart about becoming a sporting agent. So now when I, so now when these kids get out of college, when they get out of college, like when I came out of college, yes, I had an agent, but I had a cousin who also became an agent, which was something that we planned within the family to have someone who I feel like I can trust, who can go to the table and listen to, because who can you trust, especially in this industry? Now I'm in that position that I can use all my negative experiences to properly teach and guide student athletes in college, not only in high school, not only in college, but beyond college. But that's the ultimate goal, to become a contract agent. Now the beauty of becoming a sporting agent is with the NIL, name, image, likeness. Name, image, likeness likeness. High school student athletes, college, collegiate student athletes are now in a position where they can capitalize on their name, their image, and their likeness. And I'm proud again once, I'm once again proud to say that I am embarking in this journey to learn how to help student athletes mag maximize their opportunities, their blessings that God has given them. Like I wish someone would have done for me even though I was blessed, but how much more of a blessing than now, I will be in a position to help student athletes, to help collegiate athletes at every level, from high school, throughout college, through the professional ranks. So guys, that's my announcement. My name is Damon Mason, the owner of DM9 LSC, Diamonds of the Extensions. Remember the name. I will be sharing my journey with you. It will be posted, broadcast live on my YouTube channel as much as possible. Thank you guys, as always, for following me. Thank you for, for tuning in, even if it's on a recording. You can expect bigger and better things from me, and I'm grateful and I'm blessed to announce that. So you guys take care, be blessed, and as always, Peace. All signs of memory loss or dementia, all with. Yes, more info coming soon. I'm going to give you guys some party music before we leave. That's what I'm waiting on. <laughs> Here we go. So in closing, remember, that's Diamonds of the Extensions. Sporting agency coming soon. Sports marketing agent coming very soon. Sports contract agent, the ultimate goal. Putting yourself in a position to make a difference. All right, you guys take care and be blessed.